welcome back to yet another YouTube video. It is your golden way and there's absolutely no way without going through the way and we believe that Jesus Christ is the way. I am so excited for today's episode, video, devotional, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to start recording now and today we are going to speak about what love is not and that is love is not proud i'm putting out my devotional obviously as always and some of the definitions of proud that i found was i feel like proud is something that most of us know as like you know pride proud and it's it's actually self-centered which is very obvious um it is a deep pleasure or satisfaction as a result of one's own you know uh, personal achievements, possessions, uh, it's like showing an excessive of high opinion of oneself and it, it is so specific to the you part and I feel like one of the things that the Lord spoke to me um, when I was like really digging in deep about this word is that the love we receive from God is a partnership, the love is a togetherness, it is a, a, a relationship that requires commitment to the pleasure of others other than above ourselves and that's something that the enemy would never want you to do because our sinful nature will always desire to give pleasure to itself will always desire to uplift themselves above others even at the cost of other people you see this in various ways that's why we have mean people around the world and it just like that kind of concept goes against um, our human nature you know uh, because it requires humility from us which is something that is very important. I loved how Pastor Russell defined humility as total dependency on God and therefore that means that love is dependent and does not require independence and I have always found this very difficult to deal with because I consider myself a very self-sufficient person so when I came to the Lord or even now like the my biggest struggles in my Christian walk are usually about pride and control because I want to do what I want for my life and God is like I know what's best and I'm like no and then he's like I know what's best and um, over pride is one of the seven deadly scenes and that's like a devotional for another day and the Lord really led me to read to you today Romans 12 verse 16 that says um, live in harmony with one another do not be proud but be willing to associate with people of low position do not be conceited and I feel like um, we are unique as human beings but we bleed the same blood that we cannot really separate ourselves from one another because we come from the same God that loves and takes care of all of us and yes so love is not proud love is humble love is humility and love extends it opens it welcomes love is accepting and yeah that is today's devotional um yes it's quite short today i like that for the ones that are watching on tiktok i know you're not gonna have to come all the way to, to youtube to get the full clip because for some of these devotionals are quite lengthy because like really the the lord has like so much to say about certain um words and he's just revealing so much of his character and i'm I'm enjoying it so much because it's putting into perspective even in my own personal life because I've come a long way this year I've come a long way especially with regards to love um, I've come a very long way and the Lord is showing me like different ways that he loves me and he is allowing me the privilege to testify about that love and today we had to vote um, discipleship and it was so amazing it today was Women's Day for those that don't know so I recorded day five on Women's Day well I'm gonna record day five six and seven on Women's Day but yeah like God is so amazing and I am so honored to know this love and I, I just sat there and I thought about it because like after the the discipleship we went for like a mini little grocery shopping for some of us because of, of like the strike we couldn't like really buy stuff and anything like that uh, from online so I had to go physically there and um, to, to buy food and then afterwards like 
um, as ladies, like m some of my leaders and some of the ladies that I serve with at the church, we just like sit together and just we're having just general conversations about relationship and just discussing love and discussing because I feel like when you think about love quite often, um, it's inevitable that you're going to end up talking about relationship, whether it be romantic or friendships. And it was just like so interesting to dive into those topics with those ladies because um, like the Lord really, even during worship, he revealed to me um, just how much the past four months of my life have really been, like I've been sitting in his love. And I remember when I had my breakup, one of the major things that the Lord showed me for the beginning of the year about my life in this year, like when I got the word of the year, one of them, like I have the, the image drawn out and like I, I just, I'm still looking for the appropriate paintings, uh, I mean paint to actually paint it out and make it a very beautiful image because I remember seeing it so vividly at the beginning of the year. I don't know why I'm sharing this but like it clearly God has an, an, an intention about it and he just showed me um, like it was his hand and I was just there in it and that's it. <laughs> like <laughs> that's it. And then when I read the book of Ezra and um, just getting into Nehemiah as well like one of the major things was that the hand of the Lord is upon me and the hand of the Lord is with me and just just that thought and just when I think about it it makes me so happy because like I remember seeing that vision and I remember the moment because it was one of the first times I actually had like a very clear vision because sometimes my like my young yeah, that 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 spiritual gift is a very tricky one to navigate and so when that happened it was like so eye-opening for me i was like oh I, I can i can see what i can see you know it was a shocking experience i loved it but anyway thank you so much for watching don't forget to like comment share and subscribe if you are on the podcast please ensure that you um you can comment on spotify apparently you can ask a question um yeah like the questions are there like what did you think about a podcast leave your recommendations share them with a stranger and share them with the people that you love i'll see you guys tomorrow